We're here today in the Dagger Tools classroom and we're going to talk about using the LP1 edge lipping tool uh, and how it applies to the fusion welding of panel edges um, in either sheet metal or aluminum and a fairly straightforward process. One of the things that we focus on here is uh, an alternative way to uh, join panels together opposed to traditional butt welding uh, with a filler rod. <clears throat> Fusion welding uh, has been around forever and ever and ever. This type of lip edge fusion welding uh, is somewhat traced back to its origins in uh, the early coach building industry in England. Um, some say it was used originally in aluminum and then kind of moved over to sheet metal uh, or low carbon steel. Um, it's debatable either way, but but at the same token, uh, the the uh, value of fusion welded joints in a body panel is they tend to be what we call lifetime joints. They're no softer, they're no harder than the base metal, and uh, they're very ductile. Um, first of all, it makes it easy to shape and finish in this sector. Number two, they resist the low frequency vibration that's inherent in uh, you know road uh, applications, so whether it be car, motorcycle, whatever, um, they resist the fracturing that you might find uh, more uh, often or uh, can happen um, with other welding methods, particularly with filler rods. And today, filler rods are about two times more uh, intensive strength than the base alloy is. So the lipping tool just allows us to make that process work a little quicker. So what we do in the essence is we're going to put these lips in at a, a very slight angle and uh, on both of our jointed panels instead of traditional fusion welding where we would try to join thin gauge sheet metal and then try to weld it, um, it's a pretty daunting task. Um, the actual fusioning process can be done either with uh, gas welding, uh, particularly low pressure gas welding and or uh, TIG welding, um, filler rod if required depending on the geometry of the part. So basically the lipping tool allows us to put this lip in very quickly um, and, and, and very precisely. The reality of putting the, the fusion welded joint together after it's been lipped is that we're going to end up joining the bottom edges of those lips together. First we're going to tack them and then we're going to go ahead and run a continuous uh, bead and, uh, and join that together. So typically what that joint would look like um, when it's welded, you can see here this is a lipped edge originally and this has been uh, gas welded in this case. This has been mildly uh, planished or lightly planished. This one a little bit more. And we can see from the back the penetration or the underside of the lips. And in this case, um, the multiple joints created a volumetrical shape, um, could have been raised uh, or could be created uh, through a series of joining processes of different shape panels or even flat panels and for that matter. <clears throat> the actual lipping tool, fairly straightforward. A steel block with a bevel edge and two stops. The bevel edge um, is large enough to be able to facilitate uh, welding panels up to 16 gauge. Uh, in this case here we're going to uh, focus in on our uh, 20 gauge uh, sheet metal and initially we would take our, in this case a test coupon, line it up. I've already pushed the stops out with uh, some uh, tape to uh, set my actual height of the lip, in this case being fairly small. We can see here from the samples, we can see here how, how short that lip is. You know, it's approximately 80, 90 thousandths high. There are multiple ways to put the lips in. This is one option. We would either select a steel panel beater. Um, cautionary is when we go with steel, um, we have to watch that. And we're just going to set that lip on that edge as we guide ourselves. So the cautionary part of steel uh, hammer to steel dolly is that we don't want to overstretch 
that lipped edge because otherwise we'll end up with a highly bridged uh, type of sample and we'll get some, uh, could be some even excessive bowing in there. So sometimes we like to kind of go back to a, a plastic or softer type of source. It could be plastic, it could be wood. Um, some cases it could be a hard dead blow hammer, rubber hammer. Um, any one of those the raw hide will work. The softness means we have a little bit, uh, my shape just slightly slower, but it's not that much slower. And it gives us the ability to get into a habit of overlapping our blows as we set that edge. And then as we run out of stop position, we just use the preset edge to give us our final guidance from that standpoint as we set it. So there we go back and we're going to check that fit-wise to one of our previously lip panels. And we can kind of see from here that we're pretty pretty accurate as far as our fits. Um, in some cases, if we have a little bit of a shallowness, we can either go back to the fixture or we can use a small seaming plier. I love these little guys. We call them a DSE. F4522, uh, really good for uh, adjusting lips. And the key there is to get your panels so that they're relatively aligned, uh, that don't have to be perfect, perfect, but pretty close. And uh, then we're ready to take those coupons on. The lipping fixtures also will work on high crown panels, so basically we're gonna, we would insert the panel in there and do kind of the same thing. We would find our area where we're making our maximum contact. can be done and we can see how quickly we can raise that lip up so that we can join those two panels together. In the event that we're, uh, the contours are a little bit off we can either again pre-adjust that slightly as we put them together. The thing that we teach when we do the joining part of the process is to keep a piece of rod in your uh, free hand and if you get a little bit of gap because of geometry uh, hit it and move on and then continue your fusion welding process. Um, after that. So it's a fairly straightforward process. It's not real tough to do. Um, this will be part one using the lipping tool. Um, part two will be joining our coupons together. The actual uh, joining method in our case will use low pressure gas welding. Uh, part three will be using a tipping guy and a bead roller, manual bead roller, to turn these lips and then part four uh, will be where we actually join a uh, much larger body panel and a much larger, longer lineal run. And you can see here on this panel, it's been lightly planished, fusion welded. Um, heat affected zone is very, very defined. And uh, again, from the standpoint of functionality, it's a great, it's a great option, particularly on new metal. The, uh, the pros and cons are pros are pretty strong. The cons, the biggest issue is you have to get at the back side to be able to planish that surface out at some point in time. So patching into a quarter panel on an existing vehicle could be a challenge, some, uh, those type of things. New metal creation, door skins, fenders, hoods, those, those could all be a, a great viable area. The other thing that's fairly strong about fusion welding and even lipping at that, at that same point is older metal to newer metal. So this late model low carbon sheet metal, cold finish sheet metal, will join much more um, effectively when we go to older metal when we fusion weld versus in some cases trying to use a, uh, a, a filler rod because there's some disparities uh, or some differences in the base metals of yesteryear, um, how they were created. A lot of them are much more iron based uh, uh, alloys in that sense so they don't look at all and feel at all like a, uh, a uh, today or a traditional uh, low carbon sheet metal of today so the fusion welding process is much more beneficial from the standpoint of being able to join those kind of panels together with some effectiveness more so than any other so we appreciate you taking the time to spend with us today on uh, lipping an edge and how to use the lipping tool and uh, we look forward to have you follow up on our, our future segments of this 
of this sequence. Thank you.